Well, jail overcrowding. It has been a major problem in Nueces County for years. It's been a costly one, too, especially when the jail cannot be used for federal inmates due to lack of space. But tonight, our Rudy Trevino reports on one solution that is being tried. As you'll see, it has to do with how inmates are evaluated before they are admitted to the jail. We look at flight risks. We look at safety risks for the commission of a new offense. It's called a risk assessment and the brainchild of 117th District Court Judge Sandra Watts. So far, only a handful of the district courts are trying this idea out. So you're talking about doing this? On all the eight district judges. Right, but as the inmate comes in, as the inmate is brought in? Within 48 hours. And within that 48 hour time period, through the risk assessment, an inmate is found to be either eligible to be bonded out or remain in jail. The process expedited. The law requires us to let them out of jail at 90 days or reduce the bond so they can make it if the state's not ready. Yeah. Well, it's taking seven to nine months for drug testing. Sure. So the state's not going to be ready in 90 days. And at 90 days, the county has spent $81 a day to house a low-risk inmate. That's close to $7,300 in taxpayer money for one inmate. If this program continues, the savings potential is substantial. I haven't crunched any numbers, but... You know, I think when it all said and done, it's uh, it's going to be in the millions. No one is embracing Judge Watts' project more than Sheriff Jim Kalin, who for the last two years has been plagued by more inmates than the jail can handle. A good segment of the population there, folks who can't make bail. As I've said on many instances, uh, you know, the only people in the New Aces County Jail are poor people. People without means. The sheriff also credits District Attorney Mark Gonzalez for wading through cases that are not prosecutable. All these new innovative measures are having a direct impact on the jail's population. Judge Watts stresses the point, however, that the public safety will always come first. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.